guys, this is Ashley with Excelsior, and I'm here to show you a few quick tips and tricks for a proper ballet bun. So the first few things that you'll need, you'll need a regular hairbrush, and then you'll need either a fine hairbrush or a hair comb, whichever one you have or prefer. Um, you'll need a couple of hair ties, just have a couple because sometimes they bust. Either some hair pins, these are what I prefer is the hair pins, or some bobby pins or both. I use these kind of for cleaning up the up your areas. Um, and then obviously you'll need some hairspray. You can also use hair gel and hair mousse. It depends on your type of hair. I really only use hairspray. Sometimes on show days I'll use a little bit of hair gel, but not too much. All right, so once you have all of your products, we'll go ahead and get started. So obviously the first thing we'll do is we'll brush through the hair, make sure it's all smooth. If you have hair like me, my hair knots up very easily, especially when I get it wet. And then one of my tricks is I'll use my finer hairbrush. You can use a spray bottle or even just your hands, whatever you choose, and start brushing it back. This will help to keep it in place. Now, the height of the ponytail, you wanna go straight back from the top of your ears. You don't want it to be too high and definitely don't want it to be too low. For a proper ballet bun, for exams and performances, we do them straight back from the ear. So I have my correct height here, and you want to secure it real well, do it until the hair tie is, is pretty tight. Um, because I have really fine hair, I usually end up doing two hair ties. So pull it tight, and then, another trick of mine, you're gonna take your hairspray, and you're gonna spray all around the base of your hair, and comb it back again, with either a comb or your fine brush. This is gonna get all the little bumps, and wispies pulled back before you start twisting your bun. That way you can hide it under your bun. And then I always give it another spray. This is also when you can use the hair gel. Also, if you have any bangs or large pieces of hair, like if you have shorter hair, this is when you'll want to get those secured. So you're gonna either take your bobby pins and you'll grab the hair and bobby pin it up, right up underneath, as close to the ponytail as possible. That way it will be hidden by the bun. Okay, so once you have the ponytail, go ahead and brush through your ponytail. I'm gonna show you um, two different ways to do this part. The first way is, is more of a simple way if you don't have a lot of length to your hair or you have thinner hair, you can do the simple way. Uh, I, have a lot, I have thin hair, but I have a lot of length. So for performance, I usually do it the other way. So you're gonna wanna wet your hair completely. Some of you may be wondering why I didn't just start out with all wet hair. Uh, like I said before, my hair gets tangled very easily when it's wet. Uh, so in those type of situations, you do not want to start out with fully wet hair because putting that in a ponytail feels next to impossible. I always wet my ponytail right before I start twisting. So wet it, brush it, you can use a spray bottle. You don't necessarily have to put your head underneath the sink like I do. So once your hair is wet and brushed, make sure the ponytail is still nice and tight, as close to the head as possible. So now you just start twisting. Okay. And you're gonna hold it really tight. And you're gonna take your hairpin or your bobby pin, go down, to the middle and then twist in towards the hair tie. And then not letting go, not letting go, you're gonna grab it with the other hand and you're gonna keep twisting. You don't wanna let go 
of the twist because that's when it starts to get all funny. Down and in. You go straight in towards the scalp. And then in towards the hair tie. The, a good trick is if you can actually get the hairpin or your bobby pin into the hair tie, it will hold it really nice for you. So if it's hard to push in, it's usually a good sign. Unless they say ouch. But it'll probably still hold really well. Twist, twist, twist. Go down and in. And keep twisting. And last but not least is our hairnet. And you just want to open it all the way up. I like to take mine under. And then you're just going to kind of twist it like you do a hair tie. You're just going to keep twisting it and keep going over the bun. And then once you have this little awkward section left, you're going to twist it like you did your hair. You're just going to twist it all the way around. And you're going to take your bobby pins or your hair pins and Secure it into place. Once your hairnet is on, go ahead and put a few more hairpins in just to secure the hairnet as well. Alright. Once that's done, you spray, and voila, hair bun. Now, if you have thicker hair or longer hair like I do, you don't want the bun to stick out too far. So, here's the trick to fix that problem. Something I did catch at the very end was my little cowlick that I always have a problem with. Um, so just kind of smooth that down. I take a bobby pin, open it up, and just bobby pin that down, and spray. So I hope that helps clear up a little bit. I know a lot of you moms have asked me, how do we do this ballet bun? So hopefully that helps. Um, if you have any other questions, you can leave them in the comments, or you can ask me at the studio. Love you all, bye.